Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It's Thursday morning, and it's a little bit hectic here today, more hectic than usual. Typically on Thursdays, we don't begin our therapy until the afternoon, but we have to do a makeup speech session this morning, and ha, ah, <laughs> it's a lot. And um, on top of that, on top of our early start, our new OT, I mentioned maybe last episode, maybe a couple episodes ago, that our OT, our OT, is continuing her education. And so she's taking sort of a sabbatical or hiatus or leave of absence. I'm not sure how it would qualify, but she's off doing that. She'll be back supposedly in August. And in the meantime, we have a replacement. And the replacement's cool and all, but her style is different, of course, like everybody. Everybody's gonna have their own thing that they bring to the table. She's decided she wants to do an obstacle course with my son. And while I totally see how it's appropriate in an OT application to do obstacle courses because sensory work, heavy work, etc. Like I get it, I fully understand why. I'm at my house. <laughs> we don't exactly have the room to set up an obstacle course. So I'm humoring her for today. I collected the things that she wants me to collect. She's like, do you have a tunnel? And yeah, it so happens because I'm that mom, I'm that autism mom. Yes, I do actually have a tunnel. My son hasn't used it in literally five or six years. So I don't know if his ass is too big for it at this point, but yes, a tunnel does exist in my home, believe it or not. Oh, and do you have this and do you have this and we can use it? Yeah, actually I have all of those things. So I've collected all of the things. And when we see her this afternoon, I'm gonna let her direct me as to how, like here's my home, how do you propose that we set this up to make it an appropriate obstacle course with these materials that I've collected that you've asked for? And we'll go from there. If it works out, then I am more than happy to continue doing it, whatever my son needs, you know? But it's just, I really don't see it working out. Like I don't, I'm not a gym. I'm not a therapy center. This is a private home and we're not set up for obstacle courses. So. We'll see. I know she's doing her best and I know she's new at all of this. Um, I don't think she has too many telehealth patients, period. And I know that she's a little bit intimidated of me because she also probably doesn't have a whole lot of moms that have been in this game for as long as I have and that push back if I need they need to. And I'm super nice. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not like, I'm not a, I was going to say a bad word. I'm not a jerk or anything, <laughs> but as non-assertive as I am, I'm actually usually extremely non-confrontational, believe it or not. You might not believe that, but it's very true. Um, I, I really don't like confrontation. I don't. But when it comes to something with my kid, it's like a f switch flips and I'm a whole other person. So I know that that can come off intimidating. I'm aware of that. But yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, like I said, I'm willing to try it out and hopefully it works out, but I really just don't foresee that happening. So we'll see. Anyways, this has been a long introduction. So welcome to the video and let's see what we get into today. Happy Thursday. Papa, so look else. at you. Oh, that's so pretty. Here you go. Whoa. Good job. I like that you're putting just enough glue. Yeah. Very nice, baby. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you have a little uh, assembly line going. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See, anything to not have to touch the glue itself. Good work. Good Friday morning, friends. My son was up all night for no reason whatsoever that I can think of making a huge mess in his room. There are books everywhere, books on his bed, books on the floor. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand, but yeah, that, that totally happened. And speaking of things that happened for absolutely no reason last night, I slept in braids. So I thought it'd be fun to do a reveal of my hair this morning. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I never do this. I always sleep with my hair loose. It's actually annoying to me to sleep with my hair 
picked up in any sort of way. So I don't know what possessed me to do this. It only woke me up a couple times. <laughs> but you know, beauty is paid, I guess. Assuming that this turns out in any way beautiful. But uh, there you go. Texture. Whoa, that's, <laughs> that's too much texture, I think. I need to brush this out to make it some sort of human looking. But yeah, there you go. The, the big reveal, right? That's the sort of content y'all are here for. Anyways, it is Friday. We're starting late today, so that's nice because I've got, I think I counted 24 things on my to-do list today. There's a few things that kind of snuck up on me. I've been really good about planning my days out lately so that I'm finding a good balance, I feel, between productivity and now burning myself out, like giving myself plenty of rest and break opportunities. Um, but yeah, uh, there was a task, a task, that I completely forgot about that I needed to do this week. And unfortunately, that task involves like seven smaller tasks like all of those steps need to happen in order for this one task to go haha -ha, done check so um there's a lot that i'm kind of stuffing into today i should be able to get it all done it's not in inappropriate is not the word i'm looking for i can't think of a better one though it's not like a ridiculous amount. It's not like an impossible amount. Impossible is not exactly the word, but it's a better fit than what I had chosen before. Yeah, it's not impossible to get all of the things done today in the amount of time that I have. It's just a matter of like nose to the grindstone and doing it. So again, as always, because I feel like so far this video has just been me being like, hey, this is what's happening today. Let's get into it. And then you guys see nothing else. So let's see what we get into today. Or more importantly, let's see what I remember to turn the camera on for. Happy Friday. Cleaned out my son's toy chest and actually vacuumed the inside because we like to be thorough. And look at one of the dusty ass things I found in there. This was his very first... Well, I was going to say pair of Crocs, but it's just one. His very first Croc with his little Pluto snap-on thing. What size is this even? Size 7. Okay, so he was already like toddlerish then, but look at this, how cute. Obviously, I'm getting rid of it because it's just the one, but there you go. Now we will remember it forever. Let's not get a copyright strike because my son's watching Umi Zoomies, but hey! 200 days of the arrow garden it's looking a little sad right here because i plucked so many leaves from it the other day for my salad but happy to announce we have new growth look how dirty that is Blech. 200 days uh leaves a mark i guess but yeah look at all that new growth look at all this not so new growth i'm gonna go ahead and say that this arrow garden is doing quite well for 200 days Yay me, I grow things now. I am a plant person. Whoever would have predicted. Certainly not I. Okay, literally, who am I? My grandma gifted me a Home Depot gift card. I think for like Mother's Day last year or something. Super random, I know. But it's coming in handy because I'm using it to buy plants. Who am I? as well as your compatibility getting my youtube uh, forecast for the year ahead i almost forgot to, to mention like that today's people. chinese so new year it is officially now the year of the ox and guess what are, i am i am an ox you are told y'all this was my year you are year of aquarius year of the ox cautious and loyal. i'm excited now, i'm excited to see what the year has in store for me to be self-righteous good saturday morning friends Ah, uh, we got off to an early start today. My son, for some reason, has been awake very happily, very energetically awake since before 6 a.m. So, yeah, so have I, as you can imagine. Um, it's not all bad, though. I did get an early start to my day, obviously, so I've gotten a jump on my to-do list. We also got to finish season one of The Expanse this morning, and... It's so good. Like, really, the show is amazing. There are a few moments 
in season one at least. That's all they can speak to for now. And I don't think this counts as spoilers. So if you do, I'm sorry, but I, I'm really, really revealing any plot points or anything. If you have claustrophobia, there are a lot of intense moments. And that's usually why I tend to avoid shows about space and space travel, because that triggers my claustrophobia in a way that I'm having a hard time breathing right now just telling you about it. So yeah, if you are like me, there have been a few moments where I've had to look away or actually leave the room because it's just too intense. But such a well-written show, highly, highly recommend. It's really good. It's like a mystery, not really action, but definitely like a mystery, obviously sci-fi, really, really good. Hey, baby. The kiddo has joined me. I'm very tired and I'm sure he is too. I have a feeling that come like 4, 5 p.m. He's gonna realize he made a terrible mistake waking up as early as he did. But obviously that's still way too early for bedtime. So we're gonna have to tough it out. Change the channel? Okay, I have to go change the channel right now. So I'll check in a little bit later probably. But um, that's what's going on right now. So happy Saturday. Like they're gonna count all the votes just as a matter of like procedure. But once they get to 34 not guilty, then... Mr. Rubio. Oh, that's it. Mr. Rubio, not guilty. I would be freaking the Rubio. Mr. Sanders. Yeah, so now it's like they're counting them just because they have to, but no matter what happens, he's not guilty. Mr. Schatz. Mr. Schatz. Guilty. Now it's just a matter of seeing how everyone Mr. voted Schumer. so that you can Go keep that in mind when it comes time to vote for them again or not. Of Florida, not yeah, the two Floridians Mr. were the nail <laughs> the nail in the coffin, Mr. of course, Florida, obviously. The fact that you could be a victim of a crime and have such Stockholm Syndrome that you'll be like, what crime? That didn't even happen. I wasn't even there is the definition of the GOP. If you're sensitive to potty talk, cover your ears, but this sack of shit, because there's no other word for it, he's actually, yeah, thank you, that's exactly what I was about to say, he's trying to have it both ways, he's voted not guilty to impeach, surprising no one, but he still blames Trump, and what he's doing is saying that because Trump is no longer president, he cannot be convicted, even though he fully did what they're accusing him of, that's what he's saying right now. So what he, this man, what this animal <laughs> is saying is there is now a precedent set. So you could be in office, commit whatever crime you want and resign and you can go scot-free for that crime. Or you can commit a terrible crime on your last day in office, which is basically what Trump did, and you'll completely walk. And now there's precedent for it. Now, nobody is gonna ever have any question in their mind if that sort of thing is allowed because men like that just let Trump get away with it. And he has the balls to try to defend his position and say even though he fully did it, he's not president anymore so we can't convict. Get the f out of here, man. Good Sunday morning, friends, and happy Valentine's Day. I was really hoping to be more productive yesterday, but I wasn't. <laughs> so um, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to spend some time working today. And by working, I mean trying to get a handle on this room and also recording. Um, gotta do both today, so yay, Valentine's Day. Uh, my husband is on the way now to pick up some curbside for us. We're getting some Famous Dave's barbecue. Unfortunately, that's the only authentic-ish barbecue around here. Um, and it's not even really around here. It's like two towns over. So yeah, it's, it's a mess. But this has kind of become like our Valentine's Day tradition is to get barbecue. So that's what we're doing. And obviously I will take a break once that arrives so that we can hang out and eat and enjoy each other's company. Um, which is such a huge departure from this morning, right? Like we've spent all day watching The Expanse. I'm only just now picking up the camera at, what time is it actually? It's gotta, I don't even think it's morning anymore. It's 12.40, 12.40. So yeah, we've spent all morning watching The Expanse and I'm only just now picking up the camera to say hello to y'all because I'm only just now starting my day as it were. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great weekend so far and I hope you have or had 
I guess in your case, a fantastic Valentine's Day. And let's see what all I show you guys me getting into today because I'm going to get into plenty. I just don't know if I'll remember to pick up the camera. I feel like this vlog is going to be very, very short, but every time I say that, I prove myself wrong. So we'll see. Happy Sunday. Y'all, when I tell you that I used a scrub, not just a soap, but a scrub to get that lipstick off <laughs> and it is still fully on me, 24 hour hold is no joke. Anyways, it's Sunday night, so I'm wrapping up the vlog here. It was a nice weekend. I got a lot done, a lot done. Um, there's also some stuff I didn't get done. Like for example, I'm still editing the plan with me that's meant to go up tomorrow or yesterday for everyone watching this. Um, it'll be out in time, but I like to leave a little more cushion between when I'm done editing and when the video goes live so it has plenty of time to process because YouTube takes a while to make my videos into the HD that I actually uploaded them at, etc., etc. Whatever, technical stuff. You will not be affected at all. The video will come out as it usually does. It's just me, it's crunch time. In the coming week, what's going on? Well, it's President's Day. Monday. Um, doesn't mean anything for me. We have a regular therapy schedule, but my husband's off, so that's nice. It's not going to be a typical, typical Monday, but um, yeah, we'll basically have to juggle feeling like it's a weekend because hubby's home and it not being a weekend at all because we have work to do. So that's, that's going to be a challenge, I think, for everyone involved, particularly my son. Tuesday's Mardi Gras. Wednesday is Ash Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, I have my follow-up finally to find out what the findings were of my Holter test. I got a notice over the weekend because all of the doctors in my network have like an online portal so that you can message back and forth to each other. And that's something that they've had for years. It's not a COVID related thing. But um, I got a message over the weekend from the system saying that my test results were in and I was like, great. So I went in there to open it and it just, that's all it said. It's like, oh, your test results are in. But it didn't actually show the test results because usually it does. So I guess I have to wait until Thursday to find out what's going on. Funny enough, while I had the thing on, like barely anything happened. But since then I've been having a lot of chest pains <laughs> and I feel fine, so it's weird for me to just chalk it up to anxiety because I don't feel anxious whatsoever. I feel fine, and the pains will just hit out of nowhere. So it's just kind of more annoying than anything else that like, really, you waited until after the test to start this nonsense. You couldn't have had at least one chest pain if it was gonna happen. Couldn't it have happened during the test? Yeah, so that's happening. Friday, I think finally is like nothing. It's just Friday. And then Saturday, my sister's having her baby shower, which will be a drive-through, drive-by, whatever type baby shower. But she's also making goodie bags. 
so I'm not sure exactly what the format is going to be. I know that I, as always, plan to maintain complete distance. Um, six feet is not, not even a minimum. Like, I plan to stay in my car. I plan to stay masked up even if I'm in my car on the off chance that I might open a window. Like, I, I you guys know I take zero chances. So, um, but also I am very excited to see my sister and her big old belly and my nephew cooking up inside of it. Well, I won't see him, but you know what I mean. In any case, it sounds like I'm going to have a pretty busy week. So I'm wondering what you all are up to. How did you spend your weekend? And what are you gonna be doing in the coming week? Let me know, I'd love to hear from you. I wanna thank y'all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you'd subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye!